flight attendant now for about five years, which means I fly between four and five trips a month, which also means I pack, unpack, pack, pack again. The term living out of my suitcase definitely applies to flight attendants. Guys, hey, I'm Stella, a New York based flight attendant traveling the world and taking you guys with me here on my YouTube channel. I narrowed it down to eight, but I probably have like 50 to 100 more tips, I swear. I've got little random tips, but I narrowed down my top eight tips that I want to share with you guys. All right, number one, guys, packing cubes. I resisted for so long with packing cubes. I was like, are packing cubes worth it? Do I need packing cubes? Yes, yes, and yes. Packing cubes honestly keep you so organized. I used to just throw everything in my bag. I was like, oh, maybe I'll fold it. Maybe I'll like scrunch it over here. Now I use packing cubes and I'm so much more organized and it helps me separate my stuff. For my little packing cube, I always put my undergarments and socks in there. For like my medium sized packing cube, maybe I'll put sports bras and like gym workout clothes. For the bigger ones, I'll put jeans and sweaters in here. This isn't just like flailing about in your suitcase. It's actually packed neatly in a packing cube and it's protecting your clothes a lot more. I ordered these packing cubes about four years ago and I have not had one single issue with them. They did come in a pack of four. I have lost one of the sizes. I should probably order some more, but packing cubes, number one packing tip. Number two is to roll your clothes. <laughs> don't fold your clothes, don't scrunch it into balls and shove it into corners of your luggage. Roll your clothes. I swear you will have so much more room in your luggage if you roll your clothes. Let me show you exhibit A here. I don't want all my stuff to like fall out but I have rolled everything in my packing cubes and it really just utilizes every spare inch, every centimeter in this little, in this packing cube. Cause if I were to just fold it, I have all the side, all, all the room on the sides is not being utilized. But when you roll, everything fits in there. You'll be so surprised with how much more stuff you can fit into your luggage when you roll everything. Number three is to pack shoe bags. Exhibit B, exhibit C. The bottom of your shoes when you're walking through the airport, when you're exploring new towns are so gross. Shoe bags will protect your entire bag. If I forget my shoe bags, I'm like, no, somebody find me a grocery bag, a Ziploc bag, anything to not have my bottom of my shoes touching my clothes in my luggage. And I feel like you can get shoe bags. Sometimes when you buy certain shoes, they give you shoe bags. You can use like thick plastic bags, Ziploc bags, grocery bags, really anything can convert into a shoe bag. Flight attendant tip here, if you find yourself at a hotel and you've forgotten your shoe bag, use the laundry bags in the hotel room. You can easily slip your shoes in there and it's a homemade, hotel made shoe bag. Number four is I always pack a pair of flip flop sandals. These have saved me so many times. Sometimes you just find yourself at the hotel, you've woken up first thing in the morning, you wanna just go downstairs, grab a cup of coffee, but you don't wanna put gym shoes on, you don't wanna tie up laces, you don't wanna put high heels on. If you've packed just a little pair of flip flops, they do not take much room in your luggage at all. You can slip these on, run downstairs, grab coffee, run to the corner store. I just really believe in flip flops. If you find yourself near the ocean and you don't want to ruin a nice pair of shoes, you got your flip flops. Same thing if you're at the pool, in the sauna. I have found so many uses for my flip flops that I literally just never travel without them. I keep them in the front pocket of my flight attendant luggage and they just live there. They live there until I bring them out to play. Number five is I always keep a spare phone charger in my carry-on luggage and same as my sandals, it just lives there. I never take it out unless I'm at the hotel or I've reached my destination where I'm gonna be staying and when I get home and I'm unpacking my carry-on, I do not take my phone charger out. I just leave it in there. I cannot tell you guys how many times I have forgotten a phone charger. I'm like, no, why me? Buying a phone charger when you're on vacation is 
so, it's so expensive and it's just so sad. Like I could have just remembered it. Another flight attendant tip for you guys, if for the unfortunate event that you do forget your charger, your phone charger, always ask the hotel front desk. Most of the time they have chargers there that have been left behind from other, you know, people that have stayed at the hotel or they just have extra phone chargers for customers who have forgotten theirs. And if they don't have that, a lot of the times they have the chargers to purchase in the hotel gift shop and they're not as expensive as the airport. So if you do find that you forgot it, wait till you get to the, your hotel, ask the front desk before you invest more money into like probably your 10th charger. I, I literally have so many of these chargers. Number six is to bring a reusable bag. These are some of my favorites because they are so tiny. It goes right back in here. Get it out. <laughs> and it is just simple, reusable bag, reusable tote bag. And when you're out on vacation, if you're buying souvenirs, if you're shopping, my favorite thing to do is go to grocery stores in different states and different countries. I love to see what they focus on in those areas. So if I pack one of these bags, this is so much better to walk around and hold your purchases than like the plastic bags that they give you or the paper bags that they give you at the stores. Everything will fit in here and it'll just be easier, easier to explore. I just think it's very, very handy to travel with one of these. You'll be so surprised how many different scenarios, scenarios, how many different scenarios you'll be like, oh, I need a little bag, I need a bag. And I definitely recommend finding one that folds right into one of these little pouches because this could get a little messy in your bag and you don't wanna have to like do this. So find one with a little pouch where it can go in and these bags will save you more times than once. Tip number seven is to bring zip lock bags. I bring all different sizes too. I'll bring some big ones, medium sized ones, some small like sandwich sizes. These basically weigh nothing and take up no space in your bag and really come in handy in case there's a spill. I like to keep the big ones in my bag in case I've decided to go swimming and I need to put wet clothes in one or if I've worked out real hard at the gym and I've got sweaty gym clothes and I don't want it to touch everything else in my bag, I will use a Ziploc. Now I'll be honest, I don't always need my Ziploc bags, but when I do need it, I'm like, thank goodness I have those bags, thank goodness. And really so many different things these really can be useful for. All right guys, last tip, tip number eight is to leave space in your bag. I know for me, I always want to utilize every single square inch of my bag. I want to pack as much as I possibly can, but I'm telling you it is so much better to leave just a little bit of space in your bag. One, if you go souvenir shopping, say you buy a t-shirt or a sweater or something, if you have a little extra room in your bag, you're going to be able to pack it right on top. If you stuff your bag to the brim and it's absolutely full, it's gonna be so heavy. And when you're trying to put it in the overhead bin or you're putting it onto the Wayne conveyor belt thing to get checked, it's just gonna be so much more of a hassle for you. So I always tell people, underpack. Once you've got everything that you wanna take on vacation, lay it all out on the bed, pick a few things from each category and take it away. I always do that. I'm like, maybe I have four pairs of jeans, seven shirts, three dresses. I'm like, okay, maybe I only need three pairs of jeans. Maybe I can take a few shirts away. Maybe a one dress can come away. Maybe I don't need five pairs of shoes. Take some stuff away, leave some extra room. It'll make your life so much easier, I promise. These really are some of my best flight attendant tips. And I'm telling you, for the longest time, I was so stubborn, I'm not getting packing cubes, I don't need to put Ziploc bags in my thing, my charger doesn't need to live in my suitcase. These packing tips have honestly saved me so many times. I know you guys have some tips too, please let us know down below. I wanna know all your tips, maybe I'll adopt them into my life as well. As always, be nice to your flight attendant and I'll see you guys on the next one, bye.